Hey guys, Tress here. Welcome back to another guide. Hopefully you guys all had a great day. Um, today I want to talk about cow farms and uh, why you guys may or may not want to use cow farms. Um, and now a lot of people tend to ask me like, hey Tress, how do you get all your milk? Do you, do, do you get your milk from your byproducts just from cooking a lot? Or do you get your milk from farming in Olvia, like gathering the milk from uh, cows and doing the mini game? Or do you simply just, uh, you know, f farm your own cows or, or grow your own cows? I don't know how you guys want to say it. But whatever the case is, um, I prefer to do fences and plant my own special haystacks. Now, for those of you guys who cook a lot like I do, you guys know the struggle of how much milk you actually need in all these types of different recipes, like butter roasted lobster, suit tea, milk tea, making cream, making butter, you know, all that extra good stuff and all those extra recipes. Um, there's always a lot of milk being used, and, you know, sometimes it, it does become a hassle when, you know, one recipe just for 500 cooks takes 1,500 milk or whatnot. Now, now there is always the option to go to Olvia and uh, if I pull up the map here you guys can go all the way to Olvia and you guys can go uh, to is it whale farm I'm pretty sure it's whale farm and if you go to whale farm there is a sort of like a pasture there and there's a lot of cows and you could play like a mini game there and you can gather milk and for about 110 energy I'm pretty sure you get about like 70 to 80 milk I'm fairly certain I could be totally wrong I haven't done this in quite some time so my numbers could be skewed um, but personally for me in my opinion I don't think that the energy spent is worth how much milk you get because in all likelihood like I mentioned you're gonna be cooking and you're gonna be using that milk a lot and it and like that's not a lot of milk if you think about it for that amount of energy you're gonna spend you're probably gonna spend a lot more energy just trying to get enough milk for 500 prereqs than you are if you just farmed uh, you know your cows or whatnot Another pro about uh, farming your own cows is that you do get you do get milk. That's that's like number th one thing that you get from the farms. But you do also get beef, and sometimes you get ox hide. But I don't have any on me to show you guys at the moment. But you can get beef as also another byproduct. So you know you can stack up on this beef and then use it in what other other types of recipes um, that you guys tend to make. Let's say like meat stew or, or good feed or, or whatever you make. But uh, you know it's just a little a bit of extra something which is always great so that's why I also do like uh, the cow farms too because that's also another a good thing to have now obviously there are cons to having a cow farms and one of them would be that if you don't have that high of a CP or you don't have the extra CP to throw into farms in the first place um, you know getting your milk can be a little bit of a struggle another con of having cow farms is that the cow the haystack itself actually requires four slots so um, this is why I recommend if you do uh, try to, you know, uh, farm your milk or whatever, I would suggest using these small fences because they only take three CP and they allow for a max of four slots. So it's perfect for one uh, haystack and you can get quite a bit out of it for uh, a lot less CP than if you used, you know, a 10 by 10, you spend 10 CP, but you can only put two uh, haystacks in it. One thing that I do like about uh, having these uh, cow farms over, you know, like special strawberries or, you know, special olives or whatnot is that they actually don't tend to uh, tangle themselves very often. And there's, I don't recall ever having any pests in these special haystacks. So that's also another great thing I, I've seen uh, when having cow farms is that there's a lot less maintenance when it comes to taking care of them. So if you're one of those people that, you know, doesn't have enough that much time to, you know, take care of farms and go back every single 30 minutes or whatnot to check on them this is actually a really good way to uh, you know get a little bit of extra money on the side by money I mean putting that the milk into recipes and then therefore selling the recipes uh, for extra silver so as I mentioned, if you guys want to start this, you need special haystacks. You can get the uh, high quality ones or the normal haystacks, um, but I do like the special haystacks. And um, you can also get the uh, small fences. These are the fences that I do recommend if you are going to start this. Now, uh, I'm currently in Calfion, and Calfion is, I like Calfion because there's a lot of space and I can put all my uh, farms down. And uh, just, uh, it's a lot easier than having all your farms spread out and such. And I really don't like doing that. I I just like having all my farms in in a certain spot this way I can manage all of them at the same time now again I would
would recommend having your fences sort of in f uh, groups of four. This way, um, I mean, you don't really use fertilizer, but again, it's a lot neater and it's a lot easier to uh, grab all of the cows when you are farming. Now, obviously, these same rules apply to cow farming as they do as to any other type of farming. At 200%, you do want to breed them, and then anything below 120%, you want to harvest. Now, of course, if you have way too many haystacks, you can sell the haystacks, the extra haystacks on the market, and people will buy them, or you can save them um, for later, and this way you don't have to breed as much in the next run through, and you can harvest more milk um, the next time you gather. Like right now, I have more than enough haystacks, um, so next time when it comes around to gathering, I can actually breed, uh, sorry, I can actually harvest more milk and uh, beef instead of uh, breeding the special haystacks. So the question you guys will probably ask yourselves later is, uh, uh, is it worth, you know, getting these cow farms? And from my opinion, I say yes, especially if you're into cooking like I do, and you uh, tend to make a lot of recipes that require a lot of milk, I would definitely highly suggest uh, getting cow farms because again, they, they don't take a lot of maintenance. They're not like special sunflower seeds or anything like that. You don't have to check up on them all the time. There's more pros than cons. So uh, if you guys have the extra CP, I would definitely suggest getting maybe like four or five of these. Like it's again, preference wise, how many farms do you need? How much do you need milk? But one thing that I want to point out is that uh, using your energy on milking cows is really not like beneficial in the long run. I know probably some of you guys are going to disagree with me here, but I really just want to point out that the amount of milk you're getting for energy is not worth it. I'd rather, you know, have my milk farms going, use the energy to go gather lamb blood or sorry, sheep blood or wolf or what or whatever I'm doing with gathering um, and then have the milk uh, just come out of, you know, my farms instead of coming out of my energy. So to summarize it guys, cow farms are really good if you are into cooking and you need a lot of milk. They have more pros than cons and also they don't take a lot of time when it comes to uh, ma maintaining the uh, the farms themselves. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. As always, if you guys have any ideas for video guides that you guys need help on, let me know in the comment section down below. I do stream on Twitch every single day at 8pm Central Time. And as always, guys, take care, and I'll see you later. Peace out.